Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls Lore. Today we're going to be talking about Yzgrimor's Dynasty, or the Yzgrimor Dynasty, whichever you want to say. It works either way. Yzgrimor would begin his empire after the Nordic Falmer War ended in the Marathic Era. During his reign, he would rebuild the city of Sarathal and build the city of Windhelm. The bridge over the White River in Skyrim was so n built so no elf could sneak into the city of Windhelm. His death is said to have cast a huge dark cloud over all of Tamriel, so much so that the mightiest of warriors would lay down their axes and swear in grief to never pick them up again. He was buried in Ysgrimor's tomb despite the fact that he had a tomb built for him in Windhelm. He was, built in, he was buried in Ysgrimor's tomb though where the Atmorans, at the location of where the Atmorans had first landed so he could also look back on his homeland of Atmora. His youngest son, Yolgar, would be crowned after him. Yolgar also reigned in the Marathic Era as well. He fought alongside his father in the Nordic Falmer War and it was originally settled in Sarathal before the war. It is unknown, much is not known about his reign as king, but he was, he was known as a gifted warrior and he was said to be extremely handsome. His blade with, uh, <laughs> I messed that, I messed it up. His skill with the sword was so, uh, unmatched by any of Tamriel's warriors. He also helped his father in defeating the giant Sinmer. Next we have Harold, who reigned from 143 of the First Era to 220, uh, to, 221 of the First Era. Now, it's weird because we don't have any kings that are listed or known about as recorded anywhere from the late Marathic era up to 143 of the first era. So I'm going to guess that there was kings. There were kings that actually reigned, but we don't know anything about them. Harold is the next talked about after Yolgar. So he is the next known ruler of the first empire. He reigned for 78 years and lived up to a nice old age of 108 years old. He outlived all but three of his sons, and he is the 13th in Yzgrimor's line. He was the first king to relinquish all, re, relinquish all land claims in Atmora. He was also known as a brilliant warrior and centralized his empire in Skyrim. He would also conquer the entire province. He would also conducted the, the last Snow Elf campaign in 139 of the First Era near, near Lake Hanrich. Next we have Hal Hjalmer. Yalmer ruled from 221 to 222 of the First Era. He is the second ruler of just the Kingdom of Skyrim now. He was the eldest living son of Harald, and he died of unknown causes a year into his reign. Next we have Raj. Raj ruled from 222 of the First Era to sometime later on in the 2nd century. He is said to have been the noblest of Harald's sons. It is unknown in which his reign ended, but he did rule for at least 50 years because of his conquests in northern Tamriel. His first campaign would be in High Rock, where he was dedicated to liberate, and I quote, his long, uh, his long tormented kinsmen in High Rock, end quote. His campaign concluded soon after uh, soon after he invaded, though, and the First Empire would establish their new border at the Bajulse River in the Lilac Bay region. Afterwards, Raj turned west, and he would conquer all of Morrowind as well, and this would start a centuries, millennium long uh, rivalry between the Dark Elves and the Nords. It is also known that he conquered the Nibane Valley and Cyrodiil, and he would also input the, um, put, uh, the, just re, let's redo that, I'm having some trouble. He conquered the, the Nibane re, uh, Valley and Cyrodiil, and this would be under control of the f now first empire. Let's get on to the next ruler. <laughs> the next ruler we have is Galir, and he ruled from sometime in the second century of the first era to an unknown date. Not much is known other than that he was a master tactician and waged a war against the Dwemer. He conquered many Dwemer cities across all of Skyrim. Lastly, we have Borjas. Borjas ruled from sometime in the First Era up until 369 of the First Era. 
He was the last of Ysgrimor's line, and he is best known for outlawing the old Nordic pantheon. He was the last to wear the jagged crown as well. He was killed during the uh, he was killed by the Wild Hunt as he traveled to Cyrodiil to wage a war against the Bosmer and Valenwood. He was secretly transported. Sorry, I had I, I was about to cough, so I paused the uh, recording. <laughs> Sorry about that. He was secretly transported back to Skyrim, though, where he was buried in Corvenjund. The moot following his death was meant to elect Borgia's supporter, Jarl Hans of Winterhold. However, the moot failed, and the War of Succession would then begin. That is it. That is all I have on Yzgamor's line. It's really weird. Yzgamor's line really was unique, to say the least, because of the fact that, well... We don't know a lot about some of the kings in between certain periods, and we don't know the exact dates of certain times. So it makes me think, did they not record the dates, the any of the history down, or record the deeds of some of these kings? Or do you just not know where they are, and we haven't found anything about them? But regardless, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Gizgrimor's line is actually still alive somehow, and that Borjas had had a son or a daughter or some sort of kin that would continue Gizgrimor's line, or do you think that Gizgrimor's line is truly dead and died with Borjas? I want to know you guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe for more content every Tuesday and Saturday. And if you have any other thoughts about what I should do next in the next video, please let me know. Peace.